But greetings, this is Calabrios. You know, it's Danny Swift Garcia. Showing the emotion of fear at the thought stepping into the ring with the machine, Lucas Matisse. You know, the danger is the machine, uh, you know, the pain will be felt by Garcia on his face and body because Matisse is tremendous power. You know, the threat Matisse poses towards Danny Garcia's on the record, you know, is towards Danny's, uh, you know, uh, WBC, WBA, um, like what the way belts. You know, when uh, Matisse impressively stopped Lamont Pearson in the third round, you can see what appeared to be uh, fear in Garcia's face. You know, you could see it, in, you know, in his awkward smirk. Now, uh, think about it, is, is it possible that uh, Dan Garcia will look uh, to step aside from Matisse's clash by staying as far away from it as possible? You know, in interviews, Garcia will not mention his name, or only briefly discuss the machine when asked directly. You know, um, when Garcia's asked, he starts to stutter and continually beats around the bush. Prior to Matisse's destruction of Peterson, the Garcia camp uh, seemed extremely dismissive at the idea of facing Lucas Matisse. You know, Dan was asked if he would fight the winner of Matisse Pearson. Garcia began to stutter. He said that he would fight whoever his advisor, Al Heyman, places in front of him. But to be the best, shouldn't you want to face the best? Yeah. You know, Garcia should have been uh, salivating at the thought of fighting the winner to prove he is the best 140 pounder. Stay to me, the idea, and that uh, went as far as saying that Matisse would lose to Pearson. Probably didn't believe that Matisse would lose, he just uh, hoped he would. Swat away even further by saying that they are not taking part in a 140 pound tournament that would pick Garcia against Matisse. Now, following Matisse's uh, impressive performance against Peterson, the Garcia camp has been silent. You know, Andrew Garcia, Dan Garcia's father and trainer, was always running his mouth, blabbing, blurting, and talking about something, you know. Uh, he has he's been awfully silent. You know, uh, Garcia has been asked in a few interviews if he would face Matisse. And he's never gotten a clear answer, you know, often stating that he'll face whoever's promoter manager wanted to fight. You know, silence is unusual, and Garcia and his father are always yapping. But to hear so little from him, he's almost eerie in a way. So, to make matters worse, there are now rumors from around that the uh, net and about unrealistic demands coming from the Garcia camp, as reported. Now, uh, Garcia wants uh, additional drug testing done by Matisse, testing that goes beyond the extent of the commission demands. Uh, Garcia wants Matisse to partake in USDA testing, which will not allow him to train at home in his native Argentina. What makes it ironic is that 8 days before the rematch against the faded 36-year-old Eric Morales, Morales tested positive for a banned substance, Glenbuterol. Now, despite the failed drug test, Garcia went forward to fight the aging Morales in a pointless rematch, but when he appeared against someone with a pulse and a dangerous as Matisse, Garcia now wants stringent testing. You know, is this an attempt to derail a potential showdown where uh, Garcia is at risk of getting knocked out and losing his titles? You know, it's not been rumored that Garcia was in talks for another pointless rematch. You know, this time against 35-year-old Zab Judah. You know, talk of Zab Judah versus Lamont Pearson matchup. It's been thrown out the window and Judah was brought on the Showtime broadcast last Saturday as a special guest. Signs that point towards uh, Garcia Judah too. You know, this is a pointless rematch. You know, Zeb Joda is past his prime. The first fight wasn't uh, very close until the final three rounds, and Garcia will be heavily scrutinized if he takes this fight. You know, so additional rumors flowing the next day that uh, Garcia has priced himself out of Matisse's showdown. You know, there was a uh, talk that Garcia is asking for $2 million for the fight, and, uh, you know, there have been even the been rumors that he wants $4 million. Both numbers are well above Garcia made in the past, with his highest price of uh, $1.25 Coming most recently against Judah. Hmm.